We are surrounded by electronic devices like supercomputers, personal computers, mobiles and tablets. They have become an integral part of our lives. Just consider an example of a personal desktop computer. Let's try and see how resistors and capacitors comes into picture for any design. The heart of a personal desktop is its motherboard. Central processing unit which drives the system is the processor. Now let's try to break down this system to visualize. All circuits, internally are made up of active and passive devices. Consider this layout, which is made up of active and passive elements. Metals are used for interconnection in the actual layouts. Every metal will have its own resistance. And, between resistors, you can notice, there are capacitors created. All these R and C's can create circuits which can be simple or complex to understand. It's very important for us, as designers, to figure out, how these RC circuits behave. Let's look at some of the simple RC circuit topologies. These circuits may be driven by voltage sources. Voltage may be in any of the forms, like, pulse, ramp, sinusoidal, impulse. Circuits may be even triggered by a current source. How will these RC circuits respond to these inputs? What will the output waveform look like? It may all look complex, but our course will make it appear simple. The course is structured such that, it will take you through all the basics underlying concepts. Capacitor basics. Exponential curves. Time constant. Pulse analysis. For practical understanding we will explore the LD SPICE tool. After the completion of the course, you will be able to analyze any complex RC circuit using our problem-solving approach. Welcome to the course. Let's get started.